But the first man to dare to make an ascent was Jean-Francois Pilate de Rosier. But, uh, Monsieur Montgolfier, what exactly is your object? We wish to prove that our balloon will carry a human being into the air. The king has given us permission to carry out what may seem to be a dangerous experiment. Two condemned men are to be released from prison to make the ascent. Although it's... But is it right that the honor should be for criminals? To find the right man who will risk his life. That is the problem. Gentlemen, I will be the first man to fly. Rosier took with him on the flight a cousin of the king, the Marquis d'Arland. The great interest displayed by the spectators was not so much due to the historical importance of the flight as to the roaring fire kindled immediately under the flimsy and very inflammable balloon, which gave the adventure a suicidal aspect. The crowd looked forward to the same enjoyment they would obtain from a public execution. to fly. The date was the 21st of November, 1783. We're going down! Fourth floor! Fourth floor! Suspended inside the balloon was another fire which could be stoked in flight in order to produce more hot air and thus prolong the journey. Yeah. How far are we going? I don't know. The success of this flight aroused tremendous excitement in France. The idea of a man rising through the air filled the citizens with the most fantastic ideas and expectations. They believed the balloon had opened new worlds so that balloonists would be able to explore the moon and the planets. 